Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about Gideon and a few theories regarding the Speed Force. So thank you for the support on that other video just a few weeks ago that did really well, got like 60k views. And so this is kind of similar, but it's a completely different theory, but it's a similar topic. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so yeah, we know Barry creates Gideon and we know that he's getting his Speed Force powers back, but are they somehow related? That is the whole topic of today's video. We're going to be theorizing about the new Speed Force, about him creating Gideon, Again, lots of people have theorized, and so have I, over the years about Gideon, because in Season 1 it was confirmed that Barry does create his AI in the future, called Gideon, and somehow it gets back to the past. Well, through Eobard Thorn, that is, but we still don't know at what point Barry creates him, and why does he create Gideon in the first place. So, let's go ahead and get right into this. So, what if Barry makes the artificial speed force, but he also creates Gideon at the same time? I think that would be very coincidental, but it would make sense, and let me explain why. So, it was shown in the past that the Flash Gideon has a very, very good understanding of the Speed Force. She has shown that she understands how it works, she can easily monitor Barry's speed, and is capable of understanding and analysing all of the details. And so obviously it isn't that far-fetched that as an AI she would know so much, but the fact that she knows so much about the Speed Force could be put into question. And I'm pretty sure in the past she's been able to interpret and kind of understand different questions and sort of messages that have been sent through the Speed Force. So there is some sort of link, obviously the link may just be Barry is a speedster and Gideon was created by Barry, hence she knows a lot about the speed force because Barry has fed her with information in the future, but for now, it's likely that she was programmed with, you know, this knowledge for a reason, and like I said, it could simply be just because Barry is the Flash, however, maybe there's something more to it, and we're gonna go into that now. So, Barry creates Gideon in the future, she designs her for a specific reason that is untold as of right now, but what if Gideon was designed as Barry had lost his Speed Force powers and needed to create an artificial one, and what is Gideon but artificial intelligence? So there is definitely a link with the fact that she's an AI, and Barry, you know, at the end of last season was trying to create an artificial Speed Force, and at one point in the future he creates an AI, so he has some sort of understanding of how to create artificial things, basically. And so now we come to the kind of main topic, what happens if this new artificial speed force that he's working on, and he's gonna make this season, somehow only functions through Gideon? What happens if Gideon is like the power source for this artificial speed force, and what happens if it will be controlled by her artificial intelligence and that technology is the thing that creates this new speed force, gives all the speedsters powers and maybe that's one of the reasons why she is created. So I think if they kind of bring in Gideon to the fold, it would make a lot of sense if they are going forward with the artificial speed force. Obviously there is the chance that they revive the old speed force which was infected and essentially died after Crisis on Infinite Earths. So if that does happen and they revive the Speed Force, obviously this Gideon theory wouldn't make much sense. However, the fact that it's an artificial Speed Force, she's an AI, there is definitely a link there. So, you know, the big question I'm posing here is what happens if, you know, the Speed Force functions through Gideon and she's like a critical part of how it works. And so if Gideon is Barry's artificial Speed Force, that would make a lot of sense as to why you know, he built her, because we haven't had the explanation why he built her, we know that he will build her, and Barry is very smart, we know that, and maybe he needs some assistance, but is there something more specific, rather than just generally he's smart and wanted to create an AI to have some assistance alongside his superhero duties? And so, Gideon could totally be the Nora Allen of the Speed Force, so you remember they used to conduit sort of this image and the image turned out to be Nora because it was Barry in the Speed Force? What happens if Gideon is the new version of Nora Allen for the artificial Speed Force? Because if it's artificial you're probably not going to see a real person or someone looking like a real person like Nora Allen. What happens if Gideon replaces that kind of role and you know someone to talk to for Barry? 
someone to kind of guide Barry. That is kind of what Nora in the Speed Force did. She was like a guiding figure for Barry. And so Gideon would totally be similar, I would say, if, you know, there is some sort of link to the Speed Force. So what do you guys think about that? I know it's a lot to take in because it's a lot of theorizing and kind of adding up a few links from past seasons and what we've been told is going to happen in the future. But I hope it's understandable and let's move on to the next point. So we know that Gideon is a super intelligence AI, so she has all the knowledge in the world, and specifically, we know that Gideon's knowledge and her information stored with Insider is not lost when the timeline is altered. So that's very important because all of these versions of Gideon we've seen with Reverse Flash, in the Time Vault, or on Legends of Tomorrow, we know that she retains that information, she doesn't lose that information when the timeline is altered. So that kind of links into the whole idea, what happens if she was created to store that information due to timeline changes and, you know, the risk of losing all information of the past and other places. So it would make sense if Barry kind of programmed her to remember these timelines, because obviously what would be the point if it was just a normal person and, you know, they weren't a speedster and they had no reason to keep information about past timelines. It's obviously something to do with Barry. And so additionally, I'm pretty sure Gideon can understand the messages from the Speed Force symbols that Nora wrote with Reverse Slash, and that was kind of a big thing in Season 5. So also, she can track Barry as he travels through time, and she knows what the differences are between Earth Prime and Earth 1, and everything due to what happened in Crisis. So with all of this, there is a lot of stuff that relates to time travel and to retaining pieces of information. These sorts of things were similar to what the Speed Force was able to understand and what the Speed Force was kind of monitoring, because the whole time with the Speed Force out there, supposedly around for such a long time, they have information literally about everything, and that's kind of similar to what Gideon functions as, this sort of storage device. And the Speed Force, yes, they give powers, but they also kind of monitor who has their powers and who is worthy, and, you know, that's kind of evidence with Zoom and what happened to him. And so, also on Legends of Tomorrow, assuming she's the same Gideon, well, you know, it's a tiny bit different, so maybe there is, like, a duplicate of Gideon, her prime function is to be aware of timeline changes, and whether that is the normal Gideon or not, we know that it's at least an alternate version, but it's inspired by Barry's original Gideon, Kind of what we have been led to believe is the normal Gideon is the one that Reverse Flash comes back in time with and, you know, on the night that he kills Nora, he fights the original Timeline Flash. Then he's in the street, he looks at Gideon and he's like, where am I? And he gets stuck. We've kind of always presumed that that is the original version of Gideon and somehow Reverse Flash stole it from Barry or somehow Barry gave it to him maybe, but it's probably more likely he stole it. And so he's been using her and he brings her into the time vault and that's how Gideon there is in the time vault because you know he created Star Labs he kind of built up to the particle accelerator explosion and he would go to Gideon whilst he was just you know normal but obviously we know he was Eobard Thorne even though he was pretending to be Harrison Wells so that's how Gideon got into the time vault and specifically Barry and Team Flash knows about Gideon because if it wasn't for Reverse Flash they would not be aware so Legends of Tomorrow probably a different version, but it's inspired by the original Gideon. And so Gideon is an AI, much like the new Speed Force Barry is trying to create, which has been described as an artificial Speed Force early last season, well, towards the end of the season, because I believe they were originally intending for the artificial Speed Force to be created by the end of the season, because we know Barry is going to get his powers back, and also at the same time we know Gideon's coming, so that's why I'm kind of linking the two together. So what if... Barry created Gideon when he creates his own speed force, when he creates the artificial speed force, and that is how it all goes down. So what do you guys think about that? I know it's a lot to take in, kind of sit back and then comment your ideas and theories in the comments down below. Do you think it could happen? Do you think it's unlikely? Let me know. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy the video, and if you are new, turn on notifications and click the subscribe button. Also remember, you can become a member of the DCC TV show by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button and you guys can get access to member-only exclusive 
video reviews. First one is coming this week for WandaVision. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.